Hi, welcome to MEEN 221. Today we are going to talk very briefly about what is meant by a projection of a force in a given direction. There is lots of confusion about it because we are not sure what the heck we mean. So I am going to do a very quick summary. This is just 5 minutes just to get you an idea. Okay? So let us see. Uh, the idea is the following. So first we want to talk about what do we mean by the component of a force. So imagine I have a surface and I have a block here. Okay? And I have a force F acting on it. Whoops. So we want to talk about what is meant by the component of a force. Imagine you have a block and a force acting F acting on this. Okay? That is the magnitude of the force and that is what it looks like. We know that as far as the motion of the body goes, what matters is the portion of F that is along the direction, this portion. So let if I call this triangle ABC, what matters for motion is the portion of the block of force sorry, along the direction of motion. Right? This portion, what I do is, the way I do that is by dropping a perpendicular from F to the line. Oops, it is way too sensitive somehow. Dropping a perpendicular from F to the line and then measuring this distance. This is F prime. This is what we are interested in. Okay? That force F prime equals component that is what we mean by component of force along the line. Okay? It is also called projection of F along the line A. So, you call it component, you can call it projection or colloquially you can think of it as the shadow. So the question is, how do we calculate it? So there are three different ways of doing it. So first way is pictorial. What I do is, if this is the line and this is the force, what I do is, I drop a perpendicular from the force to the line and then measure this length. This is construction. This is what you would do in your early geometry class. Second method is trigonometric. So what you do here is same problem, angle theta. And what you do here is, we know from trigonometry, from the definition of cosine, we know that f prime equal to f cos theta. That is easy. So, if you measure the angle theta, the last method, method 3 is based on the fact that you can do dot product. This is the vectorial method. The way you do a dot product is you take A dot B is magnitude of A, magnitude of B cos theta. Right? That is the definition of dot product. And if B is of unit length, then magnitude of B is 1. So, A dot B will be A cos theta, which is equal to component of A along B. This is the idea. So, what we do by dot product is find unit vector in the direction that you want and then take dot product with force vector. This is the idea. Okay, excellent. So let's look at an example in two dimensions. So here is the force. 
So let's say I have force here and now we are talking about general. Here is the force F. Here is the line along which you want to find the component. So pictorially, you will drop a perpendicular to the line measure the projected length. Trigonometrically, if the angle is theta, measure angle and then do f cos theta. Vectorially, what you do is you actually take the force vector fx comma fy then if you find two points on the line so point number one is here point number two is here any two points on the line this will be called x tail and this will be called x tip so these are the two position vectors and what we do is we will measure E equals tip vector minus tail vector divided by magnitude of this. Then you do F dotted with E which is Fx Ex plus fy e1 that's fantastic right so the thing is you're thinking okay this looks like a lot of work this seems very easy this looks like something that i can understand i know what i'm doing this is how i'm going to do it this looks like a lot of work so why the heck do we care about this vectorial version the reason is it pays for itself in three dimensions what i mean by that is if I try to do this in 3D, then you will see here is my force vector F, here is my line vector somewhere here going like this and then you have to drop a perpendicular and then you have to measure this angle. No way to draw. That's gone. Okay, very difficult to do trig in 3D. Can be done, but it's not for the faint heart. Very easy to do vector algebra. So vector algebra is your brain's eye. So it, that's how your brain looks at vectors in 3D when you cannot really see it. And the way we do is, now we have F, we calculate Fx, Fy, Fz. E vector is again tip minus tail divided by its magnitude. Then you do component of force equals fx ex plus fy ey plus fz easy so notice beautiful and it's easy thank you very much so just to summarize this idea so take home message is the following there are three ways to do components of vectors one is Draw the force, drop a perpendicular and measure the portion along this line. Trigonometric, find the angle between the force and line, then component is f cos theta. And then third is dot product, find the force vector, find unit vector E along the line, then do f dot E. f dot E. And just to remind you again, 
unit vector along the line is tip minus tail divided by magnitude. So it's always this magnitude which shows up. Okay, that's how you do it. I hope you got this idea. Thank you.